What's going on guys? I'm Jehovah. Welcome to a GTA video from Rue. Rue makes some awesome GTA content. You'll be seeing some of it on this channel from time to time. If you want to check out his channel, the information is below. Enjoy the video. Hey folks, how you doing? I'm Ruth. Right then, we're going to be looking at the GTA 5 online patch today. Well, it's GTA 5 patch, but it was patch 1.17, which included an awful lot of stuff for GTA Online. By surprise, I thought it was just a case of they would tweak a few different things behind the scenes, like patches normally do, and it was just kind of a, a run-of-the-mill update type thing. But it seemed to be that it had some DLC content in it, and it also had the refining of the system going on as well, which was beautiful to find out. We're going to run through it today, we're going to be having a look at a few different things, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on them and whether or not I think you should get them. But uh, to start off with the boring stuff, I guess, let's go into, it's not the boring, it's the stuff you probably want to see, because I know a lot of people have not played GTA Online for a while because of the loading times and with some of the glitches to do with, you know, switching lobbies and stuff. They've changed it now so that if you play a race, for example, and then you've got the little voting screen where you pick on all the different uh, you know, races and the missions that you want to do. If you decide to go with something different to everyone else, it sends you off into that, that game. But it also synchronizes all of the other matchmaking systems so that anyone else in wherever has voted for that, it puts you in there as well. Which is good because quite often, too many times I've seen it where you either vote for something you don't want to do, or you vote for free roam or whatever, you end up on your own and it's boring and... Gah. You want to go in a free run for everyone else, kind of. So they've changed that, and that's good. That's a behind-the-scenes thing. From what I've heard, they've also changed it so that there are is a slower, or quicker waiting times so that you don't have to wait as much to get into a game, which is good. That kind of stuff, I will imagine, will be sorted in the next-gen PS4 and Xbox One and stuff like that because of the, the servers will be able to keep up with it. That's I think you're going to get as much as you can out of loading times on the, the current stuff, the hardware that they're using. So that's that, which is pretty good. Not too big of a deal for me, because when I play with friends, we vote for what we want, and it's kind of all sorted like that. But the in-game stuff, okay, you've got a couple of new vehicles. You've got the a uh, couple of new motorbikes. You've got the Innovator, or the Innovation, or Innovator. It was in the, the Lost and Damned as well. That was in there. And that is one of my favorite bikes from the Lost and Damned, followed closely by the Haku Chu. I really, really did enjoy it. That's in there as well. It's going to cost you, I think the, the Innovation is going to cost you just under 60,000 in-game dollars. And the other bike, which is the Haku Chu, it's a 1300 CC motorcycle is a super bike. It's gorgeous. I've tried it. It's one of the best bikes I've ever tried in the game. That's going to cost you just under a hundred thousand. But if you're going to put any upgrades on it, which you probably will want to, well over a hundred k. However, I would recommend buying it because it's a very, very. The both of them are very good motorcycles. But not only that, in previous DLCs, the price of them in in game has gone up after a couple of weeks. So if you're half what interested, if you go into the single player and try it out, you like it, buy it, do it. Just do it because if the price goes up, you'll complain and you'll thank me later. There's also a couple of cars there as well. You've got the, uh, what was it? I can't remember. There's the topless Kalahari, which has got the thing off, and there's another one. The It's a sports car, but uh, I cannot see the name of it. Where's it gone? It's the uh, Lampadati <laughs> Fur Furor. It's F U R O R E. Forgive me for not being able to pronounce that properly. I don't know what the correct uh, you know, way of pronouncing that is. It's a little bit more expensive. It looks nice. It does look very good. I personally would want to get hold of one. I like the Massacre a lot more. Uh, you know, when it comes to driving in GTA 5, I'm quite particular. The motorcycles, though, that Hakuchu is just the best bike you'll be able to get for racing. Not the best for stunts, best for racing. So get it if you would like. The Kalahari, again, is just really a collector's item. I don't particularly want to get hold of it. There are a couple of new weapons for those of you that like being, uh, you know, free roam warriors or doing some death matches and stuff TDM as well as there you've got the heavy shotgun which is essentially an overpowered version of the already overpowered shotgun and you've also got the marksman rifle as there which is a little bit of a long distance high powered rifle which is probably going to be very very good I've not yet had a chance to use it I've heard some good stuff about it how do you defend yourself over these overpowered guns then well you get yourself the bulletproof helmet and all the new vests and armor and stuff you've got a new jacket and a, a new uh, uh, bottom pants as I think most of you Americans call them uh, they're armored there as well and you've got a lot of stuff going on masks and stuff I would recommend getting them even though they are probably quite expensive for a number of reasons there are two reasons why I want you to go off and buy this They'll probably be used for the heists. 
for the most part. If not, you'll want them. If they're not a requirement, you will want them. And also, if you're going anywhere near anyone who's got that high-powered shotgun and rifle, you're going to need it because I think it will counteract the two so that it's a kind of a defense against the, the high-powered uh, you know, ammunition coming after you. So that's essentially it. There are also uh, there's also a, a creation update. It's the uh, the last team standing update. So you've got a, a, a last team standing creation mode. So if you're a creator, you've got something there as well. I think this update has surprised people. Certainly surprised me. But anyone who's going to condemn it is going to condemn it, whether or not they like whether they like it or not. If they don't, you know, if you don't like something that you don't like, you know, in GTA it's something you don't particularly like, you're not going to like it, but if you're someone who just likes getting some free stuff, which it is, it's all free, you'll enjoy this. I, re I think this is probably the last update now we'll have before the heists, and uh, I'm surprised with it. I am enjoying it, and I'm going to continue to enjoy it, because I I've now got a couple of bikes that I can dr uh, ride around instead of having to hate the vehicles that we've had previously. So anyway, I've been Aru Thrin, and I thank you very much for watching. If you want to come on over to my channel, you can do. Uh, you know, I do a lot of GTA stuff over there. If you find this interesting, there's more where it came from. But uh, anyway, have a good night, and I'll catch you in a bit.